After your foreign travel, say after your vacation, conference, business meet, employment or any other reason, when you land at the airport in India, you first have to go through the immigration formalities after which you are going to collect your baggage. Once you collect your baggage, you need to pass through the customs check and also get your baggage cleared from customs. This is known as baggage clearance. At this situation, you have two options to choose from. First, to use the green channel when you have nothing to declare. The other is to use the red channel when you have goods to declare. You can declare goods using customs declaration form. More on it in the later part of the video. No harm if you wrongly use red channel instead of green except that you need to spend more time in the airport but using green channel instead of red is a serious offense. Not just you would be required to pay fine, you could be detained, your goods could be confiscated or you could even be prosecuted for some of the serious offenses. So it's very important to know the difference between these two channels and understand when to use which one. For this, we need to first understand something called baggage rules. These are the rules made specifically for the purpose of clearance of your baggage in the airport. Hello and welcome. In this series, we are going to extensively talk about the topic baggage clearance at Indian customs. We'll understand what are these green and red channels and which one to use in what situation. What are duty-free goods and dutyable goods? What are prohibited goods and restricted goods? We'll also talk about the mobile phone app Atithi which is developed by the Indian Customs Department to facilitate faster clearance of your baggage in the airport. The topic is bit lengthy so it's going to be split into different episodes. Let's now start this episode and understand what are these green and red channels starting with the green channel. You can use the green channel when you have nothing to declare. Now what do I mean by nothing to declare? That is when you have no dutyable goods, when you don't carry with you prohibited goods, when you don't have restricted goods. In other words, if your baggage consists of only duty-free goods in that situation, you can use the green channel. Now the red channel. You must use the red channel when you have goods to declare. Again, what are these goods? First, when you have dutyable goods, then if you have prohibited goods or restricted goods, whether or not you carry with you duty-free goods. To put it differently, even if you carry with you duty-free goods, if you have any of these first three categories of goods, that is dutyable, prohibited or restricted goods, in that situation, you must use the red channel. Let's now briefly understand the meaning of all these four types of goods, starting with duty-free goods. Duty-free goods are the goods on which you don't have to pay any customs duty because either it is exempted or the value is within some threshold limit. Then we have dutyable goods that is the goods on which you would be required to pay customs duty because either it is not exempted or value is more than certain threshold limit. Now this threshold limit is going to vary for different categories of goods. More on this in later episodes. Third, we have prohibited goods that is goods which are banned. You can't carry such goods with you. Fourth, restricted goods. Clearance of such goods would be subject to satisfaction of certain conditions. Now the next question that would come to your mind would be, what kind of goods are included in all these four classifications? To answer that question, we need to first understand what are baggage rules. These rules are meant for clearance of your baggage at Indian Customs. To understand baggage rules in a simplified manner, I have categorized this part into four different heads. First, we have general duty-free baggage. This is applicable to all passengers. When you satisfy certain conditions and if the value of your baggage is within some threshold limit, then your complete baggage is going to be duty-free. 
to put it differently if you cross this threshold limit then you would be required to pay customs duty second we have gold jewelry this is applicable only for selected passengers again threshold limits have been specified and once you cross this limit you would be required to pay customs duty three we have currency this would include both foreign currency and indian currency there is no threshold limit as such similar to first two heads but if you cross certain limit then you would be required to make declaration in the customs declaration form fourth transfer of residence let's say you are a professional or you had taken up employment in a foreign country and later on you have decided to move back to india this is transfer of residence for you you might have some personal or household things with you when you were staying in a foreign country so this rule is about duty free allowance on such household things now one key thing to note here is all these four heads are independent of each other threshold limits have been specified in each of these heads and the maximum duty free baggage allowance for you would be total of the threshold limits in each of these heads with this let's wrap up this episode in the next episode we are going to take a deep dive and understand all these four heads that's all i have for you today thank you for watching